All right, so I thought I already had every fast food fish sandwich in Morgantown. Turns out I, uh, I forgot about my, my good buddy, Mr. Sonic. That's right, we got the Sonic fish sandwich. Didn't even know that was a thing until about a half hour ago. So let's get into this. Hello everybody, I am Sean with Food Supremacy, coming to you with another fast food fish sandwich video. If you've not had enough yet, I'm trying to have every fast food fish sandwich in the world. Today, like I said, I went to Sonic, got their fish sandwich. Made two calls today on uh, actually called fast food restaurants. You know, not something... In a perfect day, I'm not calling fast food restaurants, but I called... Sonic. Earlier today, I called Tudor's Biscuit World. I heard word that they had a fish sandwich. Well, that was wrong. They don't have a fish sandwich. Sonic. I'm gonna be honest with you. Not real big on Sonic. The drinks, you know, the, the cherry limeade. But, you know, I'm not going to a restaurant to drink cherry limeade. You know, if I'm in the area and it's late at night, no one's in the drive-thru, maybe I'll grab a cherry limeade. I've done that like twice. I think part of it is it's very foreign to me. I say this about Taco Bell. Sonic's the same. I just don't go. I don't know. Like, what's their specialty? Do they have one? I mean, I go to the menu and I look and there's like 500 items. I mean, they have like cheese sticks. They have something I got today. They have a fish sandwich, which I was told was a new item. And hey, I got a pretzel. You know, this cheese sauce reminds me of back in the day at McDonald's. They had these cheese packets. They're kind of like this. <laughs> Every once in a while when I go to McDonald's, I'll, I'll say, hey, do you guys have that cheese sauce? And they're like, uh, what? Because, you know, everyone that works at McDonald's now probably wasn't alive whenever I was indulging in the uh, cheese sauce. The deal we got at McDonald's, it was five... This is how I get this in high school after basketball games. Five cheeseburgers and a basket of fries for $4.99. Might have had some, uh, might have had a little something to enhance our appetites back then, because that's a lot, you know? You know, I'm just saying. I don't know, I can't, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna admit to anything I don't really remember. But yeah, something was going on. Five cheeseburgers and a basket of fries. I don't know if you've seen the basket of fries. I guess that's a regional thing a lot of people don't talk about. If I can find a picture of one, I'll throw one up. But it's, I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's seriously like two or three large fries. It's a ton of fries, man. I don't know if you can see the Sonic pretzel stick. Hot and delicious, it says. I mean, how could... It's got to be good, right? Hot and delicious. Let's give it a sample real quick. I mean, hey, if you like that chewy pretzel dough and loads of salt, grab one. I think it was $2. I'm going back in. That was pretty damn good. The Sonic Fish Sandwich. Not really, not, not overly excited about it. it. Looks like a nice bun. Let's get a little data on it. Sonic Premium Fish Sandwich. How about that? Alaskan Pollock Filet served with creamy tartar sauce, chopped lettuce, and crinkle cut pickles on a toasted brioche bun. I'm glad I, I'm glad I did some research. I thought it was a brioche bun, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to just throw that out there and be wrong. Yeah, I can't stop eating that pretzel. Matter of fact, I'm just going to finish the deal. First, let me talk a little bit more about getting this thing. So I had an insider tip on the sandwich. I feel like a couple, I feel like I've already went to Sonic this year and tried to get a fish sandwich. Like there's no way I just canceled them out in my mind without doing a little research. Maybe I looked on the app, maybe not, but it's not on the app, not even now. This is like a top secret item maybe. So my buddy, Rob Talladega, he said, uh, there's a fish sandwich at Sonic. And I'm like, don't do this, man. Don't send me across town to Sonic and for nothing. Like there's not one, I already checked, you know? There's no way I didn't check on Sonic. That's like, I live like not far from it. It's like a 10 minute drive. So I get there. I'm heading to Arby's because I'm going to get their alternate fish sandwich. I'm going to get the, uh, I believe it's the Hawaiian King fish sandwich. I was headed for that. It's probably just like the regular, the crispy fish sandwich at Arby's, but you know, I'm out of options and I, I want to keep doing, I, I wanted to do a fish sandwich today. I'm going to Sonic. Actually, I'm heading to Arby's and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to call Sonic and I call them and they're like, like, do you guys have a fish sandwich? Like I said, not, not how I drew it up today. Calling and asking fast food places if they have fish sandwiches. Not, not my thing. So they're like, yeah, actually, we just got one. And I'm like, oh my God, what are the odds? So I whip around a 180, whip a U-turn around, flip a bitch, as they call it, and uh, head to, head to uh, Sonic. I get to the, to the, uh, to the drive-thru. I should have recorded this. And I'm like, I don't see a fish sandwich. There's no fish sandwich on there. So I, I get up to this, my turn to order, and I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd like a fish sandwich. And there's no, no response. 
and I'm like, hello, can you hear me? I'd like a fish sandwich. And I'm still silent. I'm like, what is she doing? Is she hitting the research team, you know, figuring out? Is she trying to, trying to find if they have a fish sandwich? So finally I look and boom, there it is on the screen where I'm ordering, fish sandwich. So, you know, I was like, took a long time in the drive through I don't know if she had to actually go catch the fish. But yeah, good times. And here we are. I hooked another fish sandwich. Been waiting to use that joke since I started doing YouTube. And I blow it every time I forget about it. So, hope you liked it. Like you said, lettuce, pickle, tartare. Funny for me to say tartare. I don't know why. Is it funny to you? Hopefully. Lettuce, pickle, tartare, brioche, bun, you know, fish sandwich. Pretty good. I always think about this. What are, what are the default toppings on a fish sandwich? I had one earlier today from a local bar, Bar and Grill, Mario's Fish Bowl. It's in Morgantown. Throw the link up here if you want to check that video out. But uh, they'd had everything on it. They had lettuce, tomato, tartar sauce. They didn't have pickles though. Lettuce, tomato, tartar sauce, cheese. Cheese. I'm not, like I said, I like to get the sandwich how it comes. That's kind of like one of the building blocks of food supremacy. You know, you design the sandwich, you know, you know what's best on it. You made it. You know the toppings that are best. Some people let like their fear of pickles or I don't like tomatoes or, you know, things like that get in the way. Have trust in the chef, you know, they, they made that sandwich. They know what's good. They know what they're working with. Not bad. To be honest, I was expecting to score this in the in the fours or fives, but it might be a little better. Maybe not. It's it's good, but I don't know if it's quite in the six land. Pleasant surprise, man. I thought I was out of fish sandwiches. One more right here. Next week, I'm I'm I keep teasing this. I need to do it. I've talked about it enough. There's like a three hour. It'd be a day of driving, but I could get Culver's and Captain D's if I do it. I've had so many recommendations on Culver's and Captain D's. I we used to have Captain D's in this area when I was a young when I was a young lad, and I'd like to revisit the Captain D's. I, I wonder what I would think about it these days. Long John's is like that's our Captain D's. Probably why they got ran off, but I want Captain D's and Culver's. Also, I've heard Culver's has gentlemen in my comments that we talk a lot. He was telling me that uh, Culver's, they have a walleye sandwich. And in other areas, they have cod. He said in his area, they have both. So I'm going to be in Ohio, which I believe is near where he is, the Midwest. So hopefully I can get that walleye. I'll have to do both, though, if I get to a Culver's. So could be a rough drive on the way home after eating walleye, a walleye and cod fried fish sandwich. But let's finish this bad boy. Kobe. Oh. All right, 5.8. Given the Sonic fish sandwich of 5.8, not bad. I don't have a very high opinion of Sonic, so that, that they exceeded my expectations. I was expecting them to give them, you know, maybe a five at best. So with that, another fish sandwich in the books, rolling through them. Got a few more. Easter's coming. You know what that means. No more fish sandwiches for a while. But once again, I'm Sean with Food Supremacy, and thanks for checking out my video.